Hey guys, what's going on? Um, there's no real intro to a video like this, so we're just going to get right to it. I hope everything that needs to be said will be said, but I don't want to stretch this video out, guys. Um, I started this channel a long time ago. This is before the era of, you know, social media and networking and guerrilla marketing and all that. I essentially started my YouTube channel back when YouTube was about funny videos, maybe some educational videos here and there. It wasn't the number one resource for video content. And I was just an artist in college trying to have an outlet to showcase the various things I was involved in, mostly rap, but a little bit of some dance stuff, a little bit of beatboxing, pretty much my artist journey. But at the time I went by the artist's name, Conscience, and I still do. And so I just figured, you know, I'm going to drop music. This is an outlet. This is a place to do it. Um, the truth is, is um, I'll be 36 in February. And I didn't really ask this question much until I got older, you know, in the last maybe five years or so of just where everything's, you know, thinking through where everything's going in my life what I want to leave behind, what I want to continue to do. And I think what's what's important for you guys to know is that I've always been looking for creative outlets. And naturally, it's evolved into many different creative outlets that I've found very useful at different times in my life. It never ever really made sense for my business side of my journey, um, or even at times artistically, it never really made sense to switch into so many different vehicles as I have, but I've always just never really realized that the DNA of kind of who I am at my core as it relates to the arts and public speaking and to my message to people is that that side of who I am never has really left. And I've always kind of followed my heart in that sense of just chasing after whichever outlet was the best thing that I could use at the time to both express and to educate and to entertain. I feel like the older I got, the more missional I became with kind of this air quotey legacy of why I do what I do. At first, my expressions and my outlets were more about therapy, you know, things that helped me pass time, things that helped me offload a lot of mental strain or uh, work and stuff like that, things that gave me peace, joy. And then with the arts, I began to just feel this inner sense of calling in the realm of spirituality, education, life, etc. And it began to take a more missional turn. However, the DNA of kind of this guy that loves to try a bunch of things and utilize a bunch of different tools to showcase and to have therapy, that part never changed. So it's like I always kind of went through creative outlets. And as I got older, I began to find outlets that could help me flush out a lot of my ideas I could flush out tons of ideas through one medium over another, whereas some mediums were like very limited. Uh, you know, some were more therapy and less missional and things like that, you know. So I can remember as early as when I was a kid, I was really into beatboxing and that was an outlet. I was into skateboarding, that was an outlet. I loved drawing and painting, that was an outlet. Public speaking, I would get into speech and debate as a young freshman in high school and I loved that. Um, being in various clubs, you know, art club, chess club, sports was a great outlet. You know, I played basketball. I played many different sports outside of that, but I played basketball in high school and a little bit of football. Um, and it, it, it constantly evolved, you know, there's stuff that stuck with me, but there's also new things that I, you know, some things I put down, some things I picked up, some things I paused, some things I left completely, um, but it was always kind of changing. You know, when I got into college, I felt more harnessed in the rapping, so I left the beatboxing behind. You know, even in high school to college, I really got into graffiti. Um, there's just constantly been an evolution of new tools to kind of flush out similar things in the, in the 
the constant was always that I was either using these tools as a form of therapy, using them as a an emotional, spiritual, creative outlet, and also the missional side, which is educating people on life and spirituality and my journey. Also, this idea of kind of just documenting my journey early on, the things I was interested in talking about and doing was very different than the average person because I wasn't just doing a few things. I was doing a bunch of different stuff and I was just into so many different things and I wanted to talk about it and creatively express the things that I was learning. But I was always intimidated by the fact that I didn't know how I was going to string it all together. As I started to get good with one thing, people said, you know what, you need to just be all in and focus on the business and do this. And I could never fully be all in because I was pulled out of that by life or other creative outlets that just gave me more joy and purpose. And that's been a constant thing. Fast forward to now. Um, Now at the age I'm at now, I've become pretty well polished in a lot of different outlets. You know, there's many things that I never let go and I continued to build and harness and focus on. And I realized early on that if I spread myself too thin, I really almost have to do five times the work to be just as good in those things, right? Because my time is spread out. So it would take a longer commitment, but the payoff is that now, maybe instead of one year of harnessing on one thing, if I spent five years harnessing five things and alternating, It would take me longer, but when I finally arrived, I'm doing what I want to do, and I'm much more dynamic uh, in terms of the outlets that I can use to um, share with the world. And so that brings me to this video that I'm making now. I finally feel like at this age that I'm at that I've arrived at a sense of what are the best outlets from a convenience standpoint, from a power and value aspect of what I think could be the most effective to the community. I feel like I've come to a point where I know exactly how I want to tie in everything I've spent the last 25 years on. You know, the art, the music, culture, spirituality. I feel like I know exactly how I want it all to play out, what I want to leave behind, what stuff is unfinished that I want to continue to do. And I feel like I know that the pack know what the packaging should be for all of that. And I can finally share it with you guys. If you followed this channel or me on social media, you know, spread out, I have about 20,000 followers across all socials. I've always kind of been dipping in and out of various outlets to try and showcase many different things. And, you know, it the good news about it is that it allowed me to try new things and to try and figure it out. And But the bad news is, is that I was never able to really cultivate community very well, admittedly. Um, And so long story short, guys, if you're watching this video and not many will at first, but I'm hoping in time people will go back to this video as kind of the starting point of where I'm going to go now and see what I would like to do. Because I think today is an important day because every time from this point forward, You're going to see another level of consistency because I now know how to flush out everything and where it all needs to go. So with that being said, I'm not quite sure yet. There may be the need for some rebranding for a few different outlets, but YouTube is going to be one of the primary sources that I flush out music, commentation, review, curation, and uh, life talk and everything under that that umbrella. And so stay tuned to this channel because it may remain, but I may launch a few other channels, but everything will be announced on this channel. Moving forward, what I plan on doing, all of my artistic and life endeavors that I feel like would be super cool to leave behind as kind of this archive. You know, I even taught for quite a while. I have a degree and a master's degree in, in secondary education. I'm a mentor to many people. I'm a father of two, a husband of one. And um, so there's just a lot going on. Uh, I've been mind mapping the various things I want to do, and I'm just excited to share that with you guys now. And more importantly, I have the equipment and ability to showcase it in the best light. So that's really exciting for me. 
Um, with that being said, stay tuned, guys, because real soon here, no later than the end of this year, top of 2025, I'm going to really start ramping up the content. And you're going to want to be a part of it to see what part of it is beneficial and helpful for you. Some of it's going to be public speaking. Some of it's going to be curating. Some of it's going to be music. Some of it's going to be art. And uh, I'm excited to flesh all of that out. I don't know what the name of everything will be yet. I don't know if I want to umbrella it all under conscience hip hop or if I want to split it into many different threads and have that all umbrella under one thing. But that's what I'm actively flushing out right now to see if I can actually flush everything out in one place or if I need to kind of divide the channel up a little bit so that you guys kind of have some organization in terms of the things that I have going. But it's exciting nonetheless. Things on the horizon. I've got a gang of music to release. I've got a gang of artwork to release. And I have a ton of things that I want to talk about. And I want to get active in the public speaking space again. My teaching background was always very difficult because the education system is very limited in resources. I was in the arts, you know, drawing, painting, art history, ceramics, digital design, web design, all that stuff. And that was limiting just genre wise because there were other things I wanted to, t to talk about. But also the educational system is very divided. You know, you have a lot of old people and you have a lot of young people with new ideas. And when you have a lack of funding and resources and you have a changing educational core of fundamentals, it's very hard and it was very hard for me to kind of figure out, well, can I actually do what I feel called to do just being a teacher? And the answer was no. But I learned a lot of amazing things and I was equipped by some very special individuals to be effective with what I'm going to do now. It's not a money thing, it's a purpose thing, but I'm trusting that the Lord will provide. He always has, and especially in this season of my life, I've been very blessed financially to be able to do a lot more than I used to be able to do. So um, with that being said, guys, I appreciate you. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback in the comments, it's always appreciated, and I will see it and communicate back with you guys to answer anything that you might be curious about. But until next time, um, stay tuned. We are going to be launching an epic year for 2025, and I'll probably be teasing a lot of it um, from now to Christmas. So thank you guys so much. Um, I'll see you soon. Peace.